Yeah, what's up, my, my what's up, my saying gamers? This is Rambles the X Four X here with a with an update video. Finally, about what the hell am I doing? And this time, it's not an unboxing video. It's you can see on the screen. It's actual gameplay on my PS Four of all things. So that's nice. So this update video is gonna just me being a little bit going over what's going on now that you're seeing this, because this. It's pretty much a whole update video right here. Not playing Killing Floor 2, but showing that I can actually have my TV cooperating with my Elgato finally. So I can actually play um, games on here like this. So this is just going to be a little test slash update video of where I've been. So basically what happened was, last time I went down to Texas during Richapalooza 4, in October I left my Elgato down there hoping that... Yosava Kunt would use it, but he didn't. So then I'm like, I need that stuff back so I can record. And I'm like, okay. Wait about that. It took about a month. So I got it, and then the old TV I had didn't uh, want to, you know, show up. They yeah, got all my TV properly. It showed up fine on my computer, but no matter how many times I filled with it and did all that wonderful jazz, it did not want to pop up on my TV at all. So I'm like, great. I have to wait until I get a, a new TV, which I'll play for Christmas, to what I got. But the problem with that, after I got the TV, the entertainment stand I currently had at the time was a bit too small. It would not fit the TV on. So after that, I got this wonderful new entertainment stand that holds up my television. And it actually looks really nice. It's much easier to see everything and record everything like this. So. It's going to be much more nice because it used to be a pain in the ass trying to get things up and hoping the TV would work. But now, the TV worked on the first try and I'm like, oh, that's nice. So I have my Vizio 55 inch 4K television on my brand new entertainment stand playing Killing Floor 2 on my PlayStation 4 right now. And I'm going to try my absolute best to get that quality of the video like up to standards where it actually looks as good as it does on my TV. But, I mean, I'll try. I'm not the best with configuring quality picture and gamma and all that color stuff. I'm just going to record and hope for the best. Because I did, like, a minute test recording to make sure everything worked fine. Yeah, everything did, so that's where I come in with this update video telling you that I'm not dead yet. I am currently just do. I'm just do. I was waiting on such a long things to fall into place. Which now I finally got the new TV. It's now on an entertainment stand, so I don't have fear of it falling or anything. It plays through my capture card just fine, and the games run very smooth. So that means I can actually start recording videos again. Now, what that means, I haven't tested any of the comp like components slash composite games, like PLA Station Two, Nintendo 64, and all that. So I meant to hook that up some other t some time this during this week, so I can test out and see how that works all on the Elgato and my TV and if it works fine or not. Because HDMI is obviously working fine as you can see here. It's just I don't know how well newer TVs handle composite because they're trying to phase out of that and you're supposed to buy all the some of them TVs you're supposed to buy this certain little adapter to play have composite cables to just to be able to plug into the TV or something like that to make it like not lag as much. But I'll look all into that when I hook up my well right now either game here or PlayStation 2 or the like, TV and see how well that does. So yeah that's pretty much all I want to go over. It's nothing really too major or too much to go over. Just I need a new TV so I can finally record and now I have it and it looks very beautiful. So now I guess the rest of this video will just be a me just playing this little short game of Killing Floor 2, which I got randomly from my sibling on PS4. You can add me if you want. It's the same name as my uh, YouTube username, so that's nice. And so far, this is day two of me playing Killing Floor 2, and I haven't, like, it's just pretty much a basic survival zombie game that's, like, 
if any of you played the original Killing Floor, you might you might already know what this is like. But this is, well, I've never played the original Killing Floor, so I'm just going off assumptions. That all this really is is just a survival horror game with zombies and stuff like that. It's a very fun game. It's much fun when you have like other people to play with you, but I don't at the moment because you know they don't have it. The main people I play PS4 with don't have the game, so that's nice. Um, I'll get rid of the clock and burn for my flamethrower. Fill that baby up a little bit. So as you see, I picked the firebug because I was just throwing this game randomly. I didn't do the tutorial, I just played like a solo match. I was like, I don't know what to pick. Uh, oh, I'm just going to do with fire because that should be nice. And I'm really enjoying this class so far. You start off with a little pistol and a cock and burn. Which meaning your expertise is gonna be in pyro and flames and all that. This some kind of freaky horror and I am currently what was it? Yeah, level five. Which means I can configure any of my skills. I just put the increased damage on fire weapons just because I'm gonna be using fire weapons a bit. And for this Hurry game, up. you can Save actually change it to a few different settings, like only do up to wave four, wave seven, or wave ten. And usually wave seven is like the normal length. It takes like well, by myself, it takes about half an hour-ish to complete a game. So it's not too terribly long when you play with someone. It's just that when you play with multiple people, a bunch of people at once, because I think this game holds up to like six or eight people per, per session. The zombies will obviously increase by however many people you have. And if they increase by that much with that many people, you're probably going to be sitting there for a while. Unless you are playing with experts that know how to beat it, like kill everything so quickly. Me, I'm not an expert. I would not call myself an expert at this game at all. And hell, I, I'm just playing this game so far. I just, I just did this. And the day this is being recorded on is uh, January 3rd of 2017. Oh. Ooh, why die? Okay. So I'm recording this on January 3rd, 2017. 2017, I'm going to try making that year of, like, where I actually record more stuff and put some... Nah. I don't know if you would call this entertainment quality. It's just me playing through stuff and talking about it. And I can triggered. Because I try not to. During during recording sessions like these, I try not to get triggered and put it on the internet. I get triggered when I'm playing, like, fucking Rocket League with certain people that they know who they are. I get triggered when I do that. Because that's uh, in private. But I try to keep my cool when playing nice games work. for we you. Any viewers that watch this? So, there's not really much to say about this game. It's just, it's just a zombie survival game where you just gotta go around killing people. It's made by Deep Silver, the same people who made the Dead Island games. Thanks so I guess Deep Silver is slowly going to turn into just nothing but a zombie making company, Bonjour. zombie game publishing Come and get your tools of trade. people. Um, what the hell happened here? I'm going to sell that, and I'm going to go over to my types, I'm going to get the nail gun, because this gun is really good. I really enjoy it. But now as you can see here, even though you're whatever class you be, you can still pick any uh, weapon up from, you know, can pick up any single weapon from a, every any single class and just use it if you really wanted to. On the way. Start just to scrolling around to see what other weird and interesting guns they might have. Because I haven't t tried every single one of them. I just found a setup that works for me and I just use that. Now this, ex now this one is interesting because it's just a giant machine where you just fire a saw at people. Last chance. And you, use, and you can use it as a chainsaw which is nice. But I like my setup of having the flamethrower and the snail gun. I like dealing a lot of damage All with these. On the scope. Back to it, Plus, me. since I picked the pyro class, I get 35% extra damage when I use Anyone fire on enemies. Can't see anything. And the highest levels you can go for, like, per, I guess, class, you should you can call them, is 25. Hey, so it's not too stuff. terribly long. It's not too terribly time consuming, but enough to where it becomes you have to be dedicated enough to play as a certain class for this much time and get good with it. 
what I should also mention is that just because you pick the power class, if you like say use an explosive weapon, you'll get experience points for using explosive weapons, and it carries over from that. So that's really nice. So you can just pretty much just stick with one main class and just pick up a bunch of weapons from the different classes and level up that way if you really wanted to. I mean, it'd be a little bit faster way to do it. Depending on how the way you play the game. Me, I'm just burning things until I get stuck in a corner. That's when I'll use the nail gun. But roaming around like this, I like to just burn things. I'm down. Except, except the flamethrowers don't really like working on big guys like that, so okay then. This is what I mean when I get trapped. Luckily, you can hold down the square circle and you see that little syringe next to your health. That slowly fills up your health, but you have to wait till it recharges. This is what I'm going to use a nail gun for, these big guys. And hopefully not die in the process. I don't know. That would just be a bunch of to die. I was using this gun, which is the Berserker class gun, and it still leveled me up. Still leveled up by that one. So you're not just restricted to only leveling up your class if you pick this certain class. You can use different weapons and level up your other classes, which is very nice. I'm impressed by your survival instinct. And then we're gonna follow these arrows to go to a little pod. Where you saw me like buy and up like you get more ammo for my gun, sell stuff. That's pretty much just the round, or it's just pretty much a minute where you can just relax and build up your ammo for the next wonderful wave. Okay, it's right there. Bring up the trading so we're just gonna and use this. We're gonna, mm, yeah, yeah. Fix that okay, we're gonna upgrade. Oh, not gonna really upgrade. We're gonna keep all our weapons the same because it's practically nice and there's a little weight bar up there 14 out of 15 means you can only carry that much stuff because have certain guns have certain weights to it so you don't become super broken have like all the best weapons so just be a little bit too easy Time's almost up. oh shit apparently I didn't do my armor can I make it in time you own the money now nope <laughs> nope never mind First ever well, I had to beat the final boss, which hopefully isn't too bad. Oh, God, it's Dr. Hans Wolter. I'm gonna die. I thought I loved, I put up my it. armor, but apparently Just not. So at the, after you reach a certain amount of waves, you go to the final wave and face against a boss. You just go and just try murder him before he murders you. As simple as that. Make sure you're not in a claustrophobic room like this, because you will get screwed badly. Run, doctor. Know your surroundings, because um, this is the strategy I like to do, is just back up a little bit before I get trapped in the corner like this. Just run, and if I don't have armor and I'm losing health, I just ruse you run around until my syringe builds up, and then I just use the syringe. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you, and then we're gonna ha end off this video in a very wonderful fashion. What a fact. There he is. Okay. Okay, okay no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this building because it's just claustrophobic and I don't like it. I'm gonna go and run around on the free outside, that way I have more room to navigate. I don't get trapped easily. Oh god, you're just you're just hot on my ass, aren't you? Oh Yep, stop healing yourself. A little Chuck. Okay, just heal up and run. Run, 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 run. Oh god, run, I said. There, I feel more comfortable fighting you over here. Okay, screw it. Yeah, yeah. Come on, reload, reload. 
What? You? Oh. That zombie had to touch me. If he didn't touch me, I probably would have had this guy killed already. No. Oh god, no, 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 no. So close. Burn him, burn him! Yeah, there we go. Die Volter, which has just killed the doctor boss. There we go. Look, there's my goy. He's a, he's a hipster skeleton looking guy. So yeah, just to refresh over the this very stupid kind of video. I can start recording again now that I had my new TV. My ghetto works fine with it. I just got to test composite and see how well that works. And I hope this comes out very nice and uh, sort of professional like. So, this has been Next Extra Animals the X4X. And in the next, well, whenever video, hopefully it's going to be a playthrough part episode. I, I don't really know anything. But until then, I want all of you to have just, just a wonderful day. Just, just very, just, just nice. I just have a nice day. And bye bye.